Okay, so we have a function that we're going to be manipulating, uh, right? Do we know what the parent function is? So that equals 2x minus 1. The, the 2x minus 1 is the, the function that we're working with. But the parent function was originally f of x equals x, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks, should look something like this. It gives us an idea, right? Now we're going to adjust it. Okay? So, what are we doing to this function? Well, we're going to take this function that was created from this function, right? And do this to it. So now we're making another function out of it, creating another function from it, right? So, one baby or one generation creates another baby or another generation, right? This next generation goes from f of x to g of x. Okay? And what we do to it depends on what we're asking to do. In this case, we're doing a vertical shift up. And a vertical shift up, we have to know what that means. So the whole function. So the whole function is what vertical means. Right? So that's the whole function f of x. And then shift means plus, right? A shift always means plus. Up means plus. And 3 means 3. So what is the function plus plus 3? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. The function plus 3. Okay. Next, we're going to do the horizontal compression. Horizontal means x. Just the x. And whenever we're talking about x's, we're talking about x's are our x's because they do what? The opposite. the opposite of what you want them to do. So it's always x o p p. Always. X o p p. Always doing the opposite. So the horizontal is the x, and the x is always do the opposite. Compression means what? Yep. So what do we do? We multiply. It, a stretch and a, and a multiplication are the same thing, right? A com, uh, I mean, a compression and a stretch are both multiplications, right? So we're going to multiply by a factor of one-fifth. By one-fifth. But the problem here is, this says x opposite times one. So what's the opposite of timesing one-fifth? Times it by five one Timesing it by the flip of one fifth, which is five over one, or dividing it, right? Okay. So, or dividing it by one fifth, which means flip and multiply, which is still five over one. So, yeah. So, what we want to do here is make sure we see that this is x times five over one, which is just five, right? Okay. Now, that's just the x. Now, I can plug these in to this function. The function is space, parentheses, space, 2x minus 1, space, and so I'm, I'm going to write this so it's actually a good spot. Okay, so we have g of x, okay, is equal to, make sure this x is there, Okay, and then I'm going to take here and I'm going to put this function out there. So space, parentheses, space, 2x minus 1, space, parentheses, and then space. And now I have all the space I need to plug these things in. Okay, so f of x, that means all of this is plus 3. x. That means just this guy is times 5. And that's why I put that space there, times 5. Okay? And that's how we deal with this. Now we can collect our like terms and come up with g of x is equal to uh, 10x plus 2. Right? Because 3 plus 
negative 1 is 2. But the key is this. This is what I'm looking for on the test. I don't really care about this right now. I just care that you know how to plug it in correctly. Oh.